Hi, I'm Raquel Gardner. I'm from Los Angeles, California. I'd like to introduce you to a very special friend of mine. His name is Zaid, and Zaid is a long-haired Persian. And Zaid is, what are you now? 13. Oh my gosh, you're 13? Oh my baby. He is 13 and I have had him since he was about 12 weeks old. Really cute story how I got Zaid. I actually was looking for a black Persian. And I went to the breeder's house and I saw this tiny little thing. So I walked over and I kind of put my hand in there and he jumped out and he ran across the floor and he played with every single toy he could and then he ran back. I went back inside to look at the black cat and all of a sudden we hear this scratching on the glass. And I looked down and there's little Zayd scratching on the glass going meow, meow, weren't you? And that was it. It was a love affair for life. I, I absolutely love animals. I love cats. I actually worked at a ranch for about two years where I helped raise a lion and a tiger cub. I love people, I love to travel, and I love hearing stories, especially about other cats and about other animals because I think that animals possess so much of our world today. He's my love. So my friend Jason, um, is filming right now, but I am going to have him put the camera on a tripod so I can talk to him because he actually is allergic to cats, but my cat is the only cat that he likes. <laughs> so stay tuned. This is my friend Jason. Hi. You're the, you're allergic to cats, aren't you? Yeah, since I was about 18 years old. Really? Why 18? Uh, because that's when my mom got five cats. Jason actually watches Zade when I go out of town and I can't take him with me. And you're not really, look at Zay, he's trying to get you. You're not allergic to him, but you don't really, do you touch him? Yeah, I'm, I am allergic in the sense that if I st stick around too much, I won't be able to breathe, but I just love him so much. So, do you, would, if you weren't allergic to cats, would you have a cat of your own? Yeah, I would, I actually would like to have a cat. Actually, there, there, are, there is such a thing as a hypoallergenic cat. Um, what kind of cat is that? Um, it's actually uh, a cat that us that scientists have created. They're like four thousand dollars per cat. They, Holy they, cow. They've been able to remove the gene through the DNA stuff. That re they remove the gene that causes the um, allergic reaction in people. Thanks for watching Boo, and thanks for filming me, and and just being a good friend. He's a good friend. We all say thank you and say just act like you're interested. Say bye. Say bye, gotta go now.